Hi, we're the History Hikers and we're in Montaillou, which is known from Emmanuel Leroy Ladurie's book Montaillou. Yeah, it's popular among historians uh, because it's a micro well, history. It's a micro history. Um, Emmanuel Leroy Ladurie actually just was able to, to research all the daily life of the uh, start of the 14th century in Montaillou. Uh, using only one source, which are the um, the well records from the Inquisition, I believe. Inquisition records, indeed, from Bishop Jacques Fournier. Okay, there's also a castle here, which we're uh, gonna check out as a fly lands on my leg. Uh, the village itself didn't seem much historical. No, that's not much visible. left. Um, but the castle is very much historical, so uh, let's check it out. The town of Montaillou is situated some 10 kilometers to the southeast from Montségur, which we visited last week. Its castle towers over the small village. It's located in the Ariège department in southern France. Seems like there was a moat around it. In the 11th century, the castle was property of the Viscounts of Carcassonne. It would have changed hands in the 12th century, being owned by a vessel of the Count of Foix. In 1209, the property of Bernard d'Allion, the Lord of Montaillou, was declared forfeit because of his ties with Catharism. Bernard would submit himself to Simon de Montfort, leader of the crusading army, but would remain sympathetic to the Cathar cause. After the fall of Montségur in 1244, Montaillou would also be raised. Bernard d'Allion would be sentenced to death by the Catholic Inquisition in 1277 and was burned at the stake. Again, beautiful scenery. The castle would survive, but suffered under the Hundred Years' War and the Wars of Religion. Eventually, the French king ordered the castle to be demolished in the 17th century. A fire in the 18th century sealed its fate and left us the ruins we have today. I believe we're seeing the donjon. Yes. The donjon, the donjon. Oh, there's history. Is the only thing remaining from the 13th century castle after a 17th or 18th century fire. All that is left today are the remains of the 13th century keep or donjon. In its prime it would have consisted of three stories. The castle would have been enclosed by a moat which you can see in this map of what the castle would have looked like.
we've seen all there is to see to the castle of Montaillou. It's time for the arbitrary subjective castle score. I'll say... How much did I give? Six. Half or five. Five and a half. There's a little bit of history. There's not much left, which uh, changed my mind. Maybe a six because of the beautiful, beautiful scenery. And also I would agree with a six also just because it is Montaillou and it is a subjective score. Subjective and I am score. very biased because of it. So he has a six for Montaillou. All right. It's a six from both of us. We were the history hikers. All the good like, stuff. comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff all the if good you stuff. want to. Do it or don't, but do it. <laughs> Goodbye.